Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I want to talk to you right now about Madden 20. And it's basically my evaluation and my review plans for Madden 20. I know a lot of people wanted me to review and kind of give you my input, what I saw in uh, uh, EA Play. But one thing I want to say guys, that EA Play, I only played three games all day. I mean, the lines were long. I wanted to see other things. I kind of was walking around, wanted to meet some of the community mem members. And I only played three games, guys, and they were like two-minute quarters, okay? So I really couldn't get a clear understanding of how the game played. All I know is the game moved, the, the, the fluidity was better in the game, you know, the player movement, um, the animation quality was better as far as the animation transmissions and fluidity was better. And the control was a hundred times better when you're trying to run the football. When you're trying to control a player, the control was so much better, man. Uh, uh, and that's really all I can tell you right now because, like I said, I don't want to do a cheap evaluation. I really didn't evaluate the game that much. I really didn't have that much time with it. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is, uh, um, and plus I never played on All Pro, and I never played on All Madden. I tried, but a lot of a lot of those machines that when you're standing in line, they say, okay, who's next? Who want to do a head to head, or who want to do, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, you know, you know, we play three on three. Um, so I wanted to play head to head so I can try to evaluate the game, but you can't because every machine was either ar arcade or pro, at least for me, and they wouldn't let you really go into the settings and adjust things. I mean, it's, you just had to get on the machine that you were on. Um, and every machine I was on was either on arcade or pro. So I just wanted to really just just play the game, kind of get a feel for it. So I really couldn't evaluate it because it was really on the easy levels. And so that's why I didn't want to really give my impressions on about EA Play. And I would rather wait till I get my hands on the beta, um, actually starting today okay so but one thing i do want to tell you guys about what i experienced at ea play and it could be because of the, the difficulty levels but uh, i'm really getting the indication that they really didn't do anything to the line play okay so let me give you a heads up about that i'm gonna look at it closely when i play the beta but they really didn't do anything to the line play guys i'm being straight up now the blocking is improved for the line play, you know, for the RPOs, they improved the blocking to support RPOs and, and basically, because on the RPOs, the line play is only gonna block it like run plays, and that's it. Um, so you're gonna see the same animations for the line play, so you're gonna see the same battle in the trenches between, you're gonna, you're gonna just see the offensive and defensive line just going through animations. Uh, but they're going to pick up their blocks. They're really good at picking up their blocks. I mean, they're still going to miss blocks. Obviously, it ain't going to be perfect. Um, and I mean, as far as perfect, as far as ratings, you know. And the ratings spread. We really, I, I really don't know if they really had the ratings really set yet. As far as the ratings spread. Because we couldn't see any ratings. At least I didn't see any ratings. Um, you know, they didn't show any team ratings or nothing like that. So I really want to do a... A thorough evaluation and give you my input once I play the beta okay now we all know even once I play the beta that doesn't mean it's gonna be the final product on release they may make some changes before release uh, and one thing I want to talk about real quick guys I want to you know a lot of people might think I'm reaching on this or, and you guys probably will um, I think the reason I'm, I'm only speculating now I think the reason is, and I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of hope, trying to give myself some hope. I really think the reason why all the machines was on our arcade and pro, like and rookie and all that stuff, is because they wanted the consumer, the crowd, the public to have fun with the game and not really have the main objective is to have the game hard. You know, people come to EA Play to have fun, um, uh, on a nice day, they come out with their families, and so I don't think they really wanted the game to appear tough, because then if the game appears tough, and when they start filling out their evaluations from the public and getting their public's input about the game, you know, like they did with Madden 18 and Madden 19, everybody was saying the game was tough, 
It was tough to get a pass. It was a lot of interceptions. It was tough to run the ball. So hopefully they did it like that so the public will have a better experience and then we won't get so many complaints to the suits because the suits probably want to see those evaluations. I'm pretty sure they didn't, uh, you know, uh, you know, when they when they read the game, maybe if they don't do evaluations, guys, I can't think right now. But anyway, um, you know how they get their algorithms or whatever they do to read the game. They know how many people did what, played online, did what. You know how they get their, I don't know how, what you call it. I can't remember the name of it, but they're going to get their readings from EA Play. And so hopefully it's a good report of how people have fun, everything worked good, okay? Um, so hopefully that's the reason why they put everything on easy so the public can have fun. And then they can tune the game up after we experience the beta. Then we can put it on any level we want, rookie, arcade, simulation, competitive. And then once they receive all the input from the beta, okay, which is gonna be a ton of input, man. They gave out so many codes. Um, I think that's when they're really gonna do the tuning and the adjusting. And I'm hopefully, and I'm guys, I'm gonna tell you one thing I, I, I didn't see at EA Play, I didn't see a lot of warping, and I didn't see a lot of sliding. I saw good foot planting. You know, it wasn't like cheats, you know how that like they, they warp into position and knock balls down, all that real player movement looked pretty good. So I just I, I can tell you that part. The player movement looked really good, like I said in the beginning of the video. And um, you got good control and there's good uh, animation transition. So there's there's no warping or sliding in this game. Now, hopefully, because they took all, they say they took a lot of bugs out of the game, maybe they won't have to patch because we know patches will ruin this game. At least we know that from the past. But like I said, they got all the bugs out. Hopefully, all they got to do is make adjustments and tuning. Adjustments and tuning updates. If we can just get adjustment and tuning updates and uh, lot of stuff like that, man, we'll be okay, guys. We'll be okay. Uh, so I just want to let you know, guys, I will give you my real review, my real impressions about Madden 20 based off the beta. They're not giving us really much time to do the beta. It's probably, uh, I don't know why. Anyway. Um, so I just want to let you guys, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Probably figure how come Hollywood ain't talking about what he did at EA Play. This is why. Because I really didn't have that much time with the game. I just know how it looks and feels. Okay. But I do know the line play it doesn't look like it's been fixed. They just block better. But the same um, animations, the interactions, all the same. The war in the trenches with the offense and defensive line is pretty much the same. Okay, guys. Uh, so I just want to uh, give you a, a, a input on that, and I will let you guys know what I think about the beta. If I don't do it, since the beta is over Sunday, I may try to get enough time with the game on Saturday, and, and when I come from church on Sunday, and I'll probably just have my evaluation on Tuesday. How about that? I'm going to try to get it out on Tuesday, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, Cause I like answering you guys' question in the comment section, man. And hey, man, it's time. It's almost time for football season, guys. It's time to have some fun. And as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching.